my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. It's like Monday. It is Monday. It's like 9.40 a.m. Um, I made a coffee. I feel like coffee is genuinely one of the only things that gets me out of bed in the morning. Regardless, it's Monday. Like I said, it's 9 a.m. I'm about to head into work. I'm gonna braid my hair. I need to brush my teeth and finish eating some breakfast and then I'm heading into school um, for some work. We're doing some field work today. I have some homework to finish up for tomorrow. I need to go ride Penelope. Um, I may go to the gym later. Should be a good day. I'm gonna go ahead to get some gas. Work went well. There's always little hiccups, but all in all, good day. Alrighty, y'all, I am back home now. I got back from the field work, went and got gas. Um, been hanging out for a little bit. Now it's time to sit down, finish up my homework for tomorrow, and also do the textbook reading for my classes for tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll see what else we get up to tonight, but pretty low key night. The next few nights are fairly busy um, with some barn commitments and then hanging out with friends. So trying to just enjoy the night. Maybe I'll take a bath. We will see, but um, let's go get some work done. Good morning and happy Tuesday. It is 11.30 and I am about to head in to school. I did some work and some homework this morning. Um, made a coffee, took a shower. It's very nice, relaxing morning. I've really enjoyed working at home more lately. So um, I'm headed in to work or the Aero building right now. I have a meeting at noon. I have two classes. I'm gonna get some more work done and then I'll be headed to the barn later and catching up with some friends. So regardless, um, I think I'm gonna make a coffee and figure out some sort of food, lunch, something or other to bring into school and uh, yeah. Okay, so something that I think is absolutely hilarious is in the autonomous systems, which is like the specific department or like, I guess, program of aerospace, like the grad program that I'm in, um, is that in the aerospace grad lounge, the professors all pitched in and bought an espresso machine for the grad students and they keep it like stocked with coffee and whatnot because it's a business investment for them like our productivity is higher and we're more likely to want to be in the office if there's free coffee so oh, i have a two-thirds of the way built iced vanilla latte and i'm gonna go to school use the free coffee maker and uh finish off my 
my latte. It also incentivizes me to want to get to work early or get to class early so that I can finish making a coffee before class starts, so. Good on you, PIs. Let's head into school. I have a meeting and a little bit, like I said, I'm gonna finish making my latte. Um, gonna see if I can get a little bit of work done before my classes, and then I have my Space Life Sciences class and my Linear Controls class. Good morning everyone, happy Wednesday. I was planning on going to the barn this morning and that just did not happen. I've been dealing with some new like medical health changes lately which have been affecting my sleep greatly and also just like my day to day life I feel like. Um, I think it's all for the better but like regardless I took melatonin last night and was out cold far longer than I was hoping to be. I was hoping to get up this morning at like six and go to the barn because we are supposed to get a crazy snowstorm in a few days. Um, but regardless, that did not happen. It's nine now. I have some work to do this morning. There's always work to do. Um, so I have a few research things to do. I made a coffee and then I'm in charge of lunch for group meetings. So I need to order lunch for um, a research lab for a meeting today. I'm actually the one leading the meeting. So I need to make sure I have everything prepped for that. Um, and then what's going on later? I have therapy later. And I'm gonna go to the barn then as long as the snow hasn't started, so. Alrighty, I am headed in to go grab lunch for the research meeting and do the research meeting. Um, I did some more prep work for it this morning. Like I said, I am leading the meeting. How this typically goes is you get assigned a week or it's just like sort of a rotation. So this week was my week and I am talking about a paper on distributed autonomous like robotic information gathering. Um, and uh, that's sort of what my future work is gonna be about. So I'm excited to talk through this and just start to get a better understanding of what I'm doing, what the objective, objective of this paper was. And this is also just great practice, especially as a first year student, to get experience and exposure articulating thoughts and communicating them. So hopefully it goes well. Um, we got Modern Market for lunch today, so I'm gonna go grab that. And then we have the meeting in like half an hour. I just finished up the research meeting. I am going to head to Target. I have some like medication to pick up and then I have therapy in less than an hour. Um, overall the meeting went well. I learned a lot and I feel like I just need to be gracious with myself right now because I'm still a first year and I'm trying to walk through a paper that somebody did their dissertation on and I have barely taken half the classes I need to truly like understand it. So I think my advisor understands that and everybody else there understands that, but um, all in all, it's a good learning experience then. I finished up therapy and got ready for the barn. I am gonna head out there. Gonna be honest, I'm really not feeling like the barn today. I feel like I go in waves, whether I'm like craving going out there or sometimes it just feels like a chore. And today's one of those days, but that is what happens when you have a 800 pound animal that is your pet. Um, so I'm going to go to the barn. We have some weather coming in, so Penelope like absolutely needs to get some exercise and some energy out. Um, I'm gonna see how busy the barn is, but if I suspect correctly, She's gonna have some fun. Um, <laughs> we'll see, depending on how busy it is, I might get to, get to let her just run around and go crazy, which I don't know if I've shown her doing that on here, but she's psycho sometimes. So um, let's go play with my giant dog, my horse, Penelope, and uh, I think I'm gonna make a chai before I go, so.
45 and I am headed out to go babysit. We got a boatload of snow last night, so we actually have a snow day, which this might be our first snow day in a few years. I honestly don't totally remember, but um, I'm going over to help out some friends with their kids because the kids also have snow day and they're sort of scrambling. So I'm gonna go do that for a few hours and then um, come back, pick up, do some homework. I'm gonna try to get ahead on some things this week because I have a busy, really busy next few weeks. So um, should be good. Like I said, we have a boatload of snow. So I need to go clean my car off and head over there. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I don't have a ton going on today, but I'm really excited about that. It actually snowed a, a lot again and classes were canceled today. I don't have anything going on on Fridays anyways as far as classes go, but at least then I can like work from home and I don't feel bad about not being in person. But um, on the agenda today, I'm gonna finish getting ready, make some food. Um, there's a few like research papers that I wanna go through and start reading and really just understanding and annotating, which reading a research paper, if you are as new to it as I am, does not, come easily nor does it like take an insignificant amount of time um there's a few papers that i want to read and go through with my professor in the next few weeks and um i'm talking like this is gonna be like 10 plus hours of work per paper by the time you read it figure out what you don't know figure out what you do know understand all the figures and graphs and all the math and all this stuff especially when a lot of it is on classes i've never taken before um but this is how you learn, is like really putting this stuff to use. So that's on the agenda. Um, I'm going to the barn later and have some other work to get done. So should be a pretty nice day. I'm also really excited because a plant that I ordered was supposed to get here on Monday. And with all the snow and whatnot, it just keeps getting delayed. And I'm really worried and anxious, but it's supposed to come in the next few hours. And um, I will keep you all posted on when it does come because ordering plants I have normally had really, really good success with, but it is very weather dependent and um, I paid for two day shipping and I was like, oh, easy money. It'll be here before the snow on Thursday. Still not here. So I'm hoping it doesn't show up frozen, but regardless, I'm gonna go get ready and uh, get the day going. I just got home from the barn and my plant was delivered. I have been anxiously awaiting this thing. Um, like I mentioned, I think I ordered this a while ago I paid for two day shipping. Um, I don't know if it got lost or what, but it went from saying like estimated to arrive on Monday to no est no like estimated arrival date. And it also shares its location and it stopped sharing the location of like where it was last checked in at. So I don't know if it got lost or ended up on the side of the country or what. And then a snowstorm happened. So it's just been like a long time coming and I am just praying that it's not rotten. Um, so I ordered um, a Monstera Thai Constellation. Um, and this has been probably my biggest wish list plant for a little bit. Um, and there was a gal that was an approved seller that was selling a handful of them for like this in Colorado would be way more money than what I bought it for from Miami. So holy cow. Okay. I am beyond impressed. She is beautiful. We have four leaves with some very hefty variegation. Um, the top leaf, so the newest leaf, the one up here has inner fenestrations. You can see there is some um, sort of like tearing and some, I don't know, I wouldn't even call that raw, but just from being wrapped up, unfortunately. I am actually gonna go ahead and repot this, which I feel like is very controversial in the plant world of just like getting something and repotting it immediately. That being said, the dirt here is very black and dark and wet still, and I'm worried about root rot. You can also see a little root peeking out right there. That little white nub is actually a root. Um, 
which tells me this thing is very root bound. So we're gonna go ahead, change the soil and take a look at the roots while we're at it just so I have a peace of mind. But I could not be more excited. Holy root bound, my goodness. Okay, she looks healthy, that's for sure.